Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from NASDAQ, but today I want to have a look at this NETAC. This is a bargain brand that you can get off Amazon. It seems to be relatively new at about this year, and it also seems to be part of a trend by Amazon to release non-brand named RAM at low prices. I bet these things are about 5 bucks US each. And uh, I want to go over it. I want to give it a test and see if they are any good ultimately now it says that this is a u1 class 10 i believe that means they can get at least 30 megabytes a second and it looks official it looks official and oh look at that great art that they got on those sd cards mm, so good now i already bought some of these i bought both the good ones and the bad ones i get all kinds of stuff i'm a tech guy like many of you guys let's face it so last year i got this brand i'm sure uh, some of you will recognize this a ago ago i got about six of them they never did me wrong they work one of them this one actually came in came out of this unit and this unit has been submersed in air in a bucket of air conditioner water uh three times in a row three times in a row and the thing keeps working and the thing keeps working i've already i've also had people get uh this card and it only said it had like 16 megabytes of information on it so meanwhile at the same time at the same damn time, this Samsung 64 gigabyte Evo will not work in these cameras or with any other camera, with any other thing I get, because it keeps making errors. I don't know how it keeps making errors in a way that I can't put into a program and have the program tell me something about it. There are not bad sectors on it. I don't know what's going on with it, but whenever I use it in programs, the programs start going wrong. And this is official Samsung official samsung and over here i got some pony pny i got some pony or pet pony i keep calling it pony anyway 32 gigs doesn't work at all anymore can't format or i don't know what's going on there what's going on so for me either sand i either gotta have sandus flat out and even sandus will get go bad if it gets wet i find and the no name has been working for me so I'm going to use these suckers. I am going to test one out. I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to put these suckers to the test and hopefully the power of positive thought will keep them working for me. Will keep them working for me. So I'm going to install these. I'm going to install two of them on two uh, security cameras so they're always going to be used. And the third one, I'm just going to throw on a program that will just keep testing this sucker. All right, so here I got a Weiss camera, and here I have a D-Link. And I'm gonna throw one in here. And we'll let this stuff run for about a week and see how it does. In the meantime, let's take the last one and throw it at a stress test, shall we? Okay, we're transferring directly to this card at uh, about 15, 16 megabytes a second. And minimum on this card is 10. So that's what we get directly writing to. Next up, I'm going to run a full scan on this card and see how healthy she is. Here's my security camera up front. That D-Link is a pan tilt zoom. And uh, every time it tilts and pans it records so we're going to get a lot of read write tests out of this recording in the backyard and this is a straight recording so uh, yeah we should give this a thorough test all right folks so this is exactly one week later i've been running a test on this particular unit all week while this one says it's only done five cycles it says it's done five cycles because i had to restart it just before shooting this video I'm pretty sure I had over 150 cycles done that's read and write without any errors. So, yeah, I gotta say it passes this test. Maybe we'll do just one final transfer to make sure. And here we got the transfer happening at about 15, 16 megabytes a second. Of course, that is the same speed that it was transferring at uh, earlier, so there you go. Now the other two seem to be working out just fine because here is pre-recorded video from uh, my security camera units. Everything's still working. Everything is responding. And I can go back to different times and get information. You know when your memory card is screwing up on these things is when you try to go back 
and get video information and you can't get any video information because uh, your Samsung SD card has gone corrupt oh that really ticks me off but either way this is definitely good stuff I'm not sure if I could say that I recommend these cards I'm saying that the batch that I received seemed to work well seemed to work good and uh, if you could receive the same ones from the same batch that I have then I would definitely recommend it Otherwise, I would definitely recommend going with SanDisk if you have the money. If not, these might work out for you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Never from Nevstack, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. As always, folks, take care of each other.